Yeah, guys, Neo video, Neo video, Neo video update. Um, it's the election day results. And it's the 6th November 2024, coming up to four minutes past 3 p.m. UK time. And I missed out on a low price. I bought, I bought more Neo, I bought more Neo, but I missed out on the low price because I was busy. I wasn't watching it. Went to, anyway, I picked up some at uh, um, 5.08. I picked up some at 5.08. Uh, 288 Neo shares, but I could, I could have got in lower. Let's look at the chart, guys. Let's look at the chart. I could have got in lower, like had I been watching it on this. Let's look at the chart on the other account, and you can see we're on the 30, 30 minute chart. And of course, of course, it went down. There's the six. We're looking at like the six. That was pre market, though. Pre market went down to. You can see 4.83 and market, basically the market opened, spiked down to 4.83 again. Now it's shooting up. I just missed it by like half an hour, basically. If I was watching it, I was busy. I, could, I would have bought straight away at 4.83. But. Anyway, it's rising. And, and just in my last video yesterday, I said that two things I said, which you might think contradicted myself, but I didn't. I said that just watch out for the, any external, you know, like stock market, not to say stock market crash, but I said watch out for the election because, you know, they're talking about tariffs if, if, if NEO want to enter the US. But I said it's not going to affect NEO because in the long term, they're going to do some deal where they can get into the US. These problems are already temporary. And obviously, like, they're talking about hybrid, you know, vehicles for NEO, etc. But I said that it, it could spike down. I said exactly. If you go back and check my video, I said NEO price could spike down below $5. I called it right again, guys. And then I said it's going to shoot straight back up if it does spike down. Go back at my video and you can see exactly what I said is exactly what's happening now. I said if it does spike down, it will spike straight up. And I, I called it exactly right. The only thing I'm upset about is that I didn't, Basically, I should have been watching the market when it opened. I should have been watching the NEO stock, you know, half an hour earlier because I could have got in. I mean, look how much I could have saved. I could have got in at 380, 386, 387, around about there, blah, blah, blah. Look how much I've, look how much I've missed out on now. I've got in at, you know, 508 or whatever. It's quite a chunk, isn't it? Anyway, it is what it is. I've, I've loaded up more, but, you know, we're looking at it go up now, but it's kind of volatile. It could still fall back down. But I, I just bought anyway, because 508, at the end of the day, I don't know. You know, if it spikes up to 6.7, I'll be kicking myself that I didn't get in at 508. I've missed out on, on um, you know, below 5. And... Um, I had still had my um, buy. You remember the other day I had a video talking about I had a buy um, order for five dollars. That would have been filled. In fact, I could have had a lower buy order, and I think I've said that even in another video. I said I could have had a buy order for four eighty or whatever. You know, you can you can have buy orders on the way down if you want obviously that wouldn't have been filled to 480 but say 48 485 or blah, 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 whatever up there right there would have been filled but it is what it is guys i said it i said it could drop down based on the election result and then it could spike straight back up and it's exactly what's happening 
But anyway, it is what it is. I've, I've, I've loaded up some more. I don't know what you guys are doing. It's not financial advice. You're probably loading up more. Looks like it. It's quite volatile. It's, um, looks like there's all sorts going on. Um, but it doesn't bother me. Look, it doesn't bother me that, you know, stock's gone down. Um, you know, this is all based on election, right? In the long term, I've sort of mentioned this in the video, that tariff war has got to end. It can't go on. And, um, you know, Neo is just going to keep, keep expanding in the West, you know, by hook or by crook, in the West and the Middle East, everywhere, you know. So deal's going to be done, like, you know, in my opinion. So I'm looking now at the price. It's volatile. I called it right again. I said it, I said it, I said it would, um, it's possible that it could um, spike, you know, dip down before it spikes up. And it's exactly what's happening. Let's just change the chart to the one day chart. And uh, yeah, exactly, exactly. Yesterday, the video, I called it right exactly. And I said this week, before the end of this week, I said it, it's likely to come out of this range, whether it goes down or up. I, I said it, it's likely to come out of this range. You remember I said it. I said that I've got three trading days here, and that's within the range. And I said like if it spike, you know, if it dips down, I said it could it could dip down and then spike up. And I said if it, if it spikes up out of the range, I said it could go, if you remember, I said it could go 657 or even higher. Uh, so that's where we are at the moment, guys, with Neo. As I said, probably a lot of you bought in. Let me know in the comments. You probably loaded up at, at 490, at 490, around about 490. You probably loaded up. Um, yeah, so I've increased my holdings of NEO now. What have I got now? Uh, I had 1,200 and I've picked up another, what, 300 or something, about that. So, I've got about 1,500 now. I had a lot more when I traded it in the first place, you know. When I, when I bought it down here, I thought, um, you know, when it was about three, just under four, four dollars and sold up here, you know, seven, seven fifty or whatever. But I loaded up again, loaded up now as well. See how it goes, guys. I said this could spy, um, dip down, as I said, and then spike up. I think it's going to be quite bullish. Hopefully, if not, you know, before the end of this week and as I said today is Wednesday 6 November if it, if it don't go up my last video I said it could probably it's going to spike on the you know before the 8th or on the 8th but if not next week next week so but I put money on it that it's going to spike up before the eighth or on the eighth, I'd put I put I'd put money on it based on this pattern that I'm uh, interpreting. My opinion, I called it right. I called it right again. I called it right yesterday. <laughs> exactly what I said yesterday in my video is happened today. Exactly, exactly, exactly what I said. I told you I'm 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 better than any hedge fund at calling it right. And um, yeah, I, I, I was busy. I, I couldn't. I couldn't. You know, you you can't get distracted when you're focusing on one. You know, on something, then can't get distracted. Anyway, guys, that's what's happening. That's my basically neo update. Let's just. I don't want to check other stocks. Let's just stay on this. Anyway, that's my update, guys. I'm just gonna. Um, See how it goes. I'll update you if I see anything but anything else.
or any news. But basically, as I said, it's, if it dips down, it's going to spike up. And um, that's my prediction. Before the 8th or on the 8th. If not, if not, then next week, I think we're going to see a big spike. That's my next prediction, guys. We're going to see a big spike up. Let's see if I call it right again. I mean, so far I've called it right, what, 100%, 100, 100% at a time, guys. That's a huge, huge, you know, you can imagine how much money I could have made calling it right, not just long, short as well, guys. Not that I'm short in the stock, but if I was, look how much I could have picked up. I mean, I've interpreted this stock going right back to here and you know all the evidence is there check my videos i've interpreted to stop this stock going right back to around about here or down here or here wherever it was every move i've interpreted every move guys who's done that what channels are you listening to that have done that none none of them only my channel the videos so let me let me know your thoughts in the comments guys basically because you know that i'm the best the best in the world